Wait. Stop. Can you watch the whole video this time? Hey, everyone. So today I'm going to be doing the second, um, second part of my series, series turning YouTubers into... I was going to say monsters, but no, it's cupcakes. So I've got my trusty air dry clay. And this one, as we all know at this point, is already inspired by Graveyard Loon. So what I did was is I messaged Loon on Instagram, of course, and just said, what kind of things would you say that would represent your evilness? And so his goggles, um, as you probably saw in the beginning, maybe, I don't know, snakes, Trevor or Slurp, like one of the monsters or just the colour purple. So I'm taking the monster Slurp because I know who that is very well. I didn't actually, well, I do now. So that's what I did. And I was just basically just making Slurp into the cupcake base if you know what i'm saying like the actual cake itself so slurp isn't actually cake i'm aware of that but he's being like cake by being in the same position of cake on a cake now i'm making absolutely no sense so by the time so this is actually quite quick drying when you've just got it sitting there so by the time i go to connect two pieces it's already basically dried so what i'm doing is i was just getting um, I pencil and smoothening it out and then getting a pencil to just try and just like join it together like that and then also dipping my fingers in a little spoon that I'd sprayed some water into and then just like spreading that over it just to try and connect it a little bit better and then I was getting yet more clay and yes I know I made slurp and yes I am aware at the time being I do know I may or may not have definitely forgotten to include Slurp's ears. Yeah, kind of annoyed that I did that, but it's a bit too late for that now, honestly. Kind of sad, but you know what? It's too late. We're just dealing with it. Just dealing with it. And there we have it. We've got our wonderful um, snakes that I'm now making, which never really ended up looking like snakes, but you know what? Not a big deal at all. It just really kind of adds to the element of it being a cake if it looks more like cake. And I know that they're snakes. I've told you that it's snakes. So you just got to use your imagination on that one to pretend that they're snakes. Because no one else is going to know. If you don't know that they're snakes, that means you haven't been listening to this at all. And you've just been, like, really ignorant to what I'm saying. Which isn't really... Well, you know, it's fine. Do what you want. But whatever, still. So I was just constructing... What do you call it? The awkward transition ghost? Ooh. I don't know why I said that. But the awkward transition ghost. So that is also Loon's profile pic. So that was kind of cool. And I didn't know how to include the goggles into it until I was like, oh, genius moment. Put the goggles on the awkward transition ghost. Genius. And then I decided to just like sketch out a little bit of details using a pencil. And then boom. Well, I mean like, carve into it really and then I decided to start painting it because I was not waiting for it to fully dry because that would take like a day and I, I was just I didn't have that kind of time to wait around I just didn't want to I did this all like when I wanted to and that was way before I even needed to do it like way before and I couldn't be bothered to go locate my paint brushes so surprise I just you know did that and use a pencil and more surprise hi it's a new day and i've got my thing with some new well i did a new layer which is why it's sticking to the tissue there because i did a new layer on it okay deal with it so now i'm getting purple because that's exactly what he said the color purple so the um it's just it just really goes into the full full evil aesthetic of loons the full evil 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 things so the purple it was kind of cool so i got out some lighter purple dark purple and i also put into one little paint palette bit um the light purple and the dark purple mixed them together so i had a few different varies of shades and stuff just to try and make it look a bit more like ooh. and here i go again with the ooze um but just trying to make it look interesting by having varied shades of purple 
and there we have it it's looking stylish and I was trying not to go out the frame and now it looks really weird and there was my design look at that it's so weird looking and here I came back after doing I don't know something I think oh wait locating my red paint that was what I was up to so then there I have my paintbrush that I had in my hand or something and then I've also got my red paint which I had not in my hand but in the paint palette and as you can see the design snakes will be purple well the apparent snakes were purple you know what's fine doesn't matter and the whole thing equals evil but yeah, it was very, very um, intentional that. And for anybody who thinks, oh, but that's so evil for a cupcake. Well, think again, because this video is not made for sparkle butts. I feel like I've got to include that in the title. This warning, this video is not made for sparkle butts. And yeah, that's not my phrase. Go ask Loon what that means. Um, so yeah. This was way too much fun, I think, just, like, painting this. It was so calming just to paint this thing. And I was painting all while the other bits were still wet, as you can see. Just my hands were covered in paint. Way covered in paint. Ow, that hurt. I just scratched my something. I don't know. But basically, um, there we have it. Painting the Awkward Transition Ghost red. What else can I call the Awkward Transition Ghost? Um basically nothing but also my idea for the awkward friends vision ghost was to be almost like so you've got slurp as the cake right you've got the snakes is almost like the frosting and then you've got the awkward transition ghost who's almost like the cherry on the top you see that all these little bits they're just like the components of the cupcake that's what they are except not quite the same way they're all different. Instead of the cake, you've got a slurp, which is a monster. Instead of frosting, you've got snakes. Purple snakes, which is just so evil. And then, instead of a cutesy little delicious cherry, you've got an awkward transition ghost, which is not edible. Just saying. So then I was just getting some something. And, oh wait, drying my paintbrush. That smart plan. And like I said, this one time, I think it was last week, I've got to stop yawning while I do the, 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 the voiceover thingies. But yeah, there's the plan still there because I never bothered to get rid of it. Oh, wait, yeah, that's what I was doing. I just said that because I didn't know what else to say right now. Um, I was trying to paint on that little fishy thing. You know, that little fishy thing right there that you can see. So I was painting that pink and then I realized oh god no that paint is so incredibly transparent that this is going to take me years and i do not want to have to take years to do this because i wanted to upload this video on thursday well for you today so there we go squeezing it out from the bottle making life easy really easy so that took way too long to dry anyway just saying and round of applause to me for figuring that one out and still touching the wet paint anyway and then I realized that you know I should also have got all the colors of paint that I needed out in one go instead of having to go backwards and forwards a million times like I did yay smart human award goes to me even more points going towards that award would be I forgot to speed up the footage that I um, was just voiceovering for the last few minutes more another round of applause to me for that one and there we go i remember to do the transition my jumper flapped in the way because i stood up and there we have the the what do you call it green paint i keep forgetting what i'm doing even though i'm looking at it right now it's creepy so we've got the green paint that i just kind of squeezed out in between where it's kind of supposed to be and knocks the tripod <laughs> again and then i cleaned my paintbrush well no i didn't clean it i dried it but that kind of cleaned it so i never lied and i just spread it out a little bit so it filled up all the gaps that there was those gaps that were just just there that we didn't want just like eh, nah i don't want those <laughs> suckers kind of thing 
but not really. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We just didn't want all those little gaps because they're annoying and in the way, like, all the time. So I was just covering those up by, you know, painting it. And at this point, I think I got so off topic about it. Oh, wait, that was still recording. Oops. (laughs) Now that nonsense is over with. So let's just continue painting on the fish. And I was going to say the usual painting on that little dumb fish. But in reality, it's a very necessary part of the thing of slurp. It's an essential part of slurp's accessories so we can't call it that because it's too special just saying but yeah awkward gap in the voiceover for no reason forget to feed up speed up footage like seriously what am i doing just just why so yeah and there we have it we've got a new one that I made because I did not like how the old one was going. It was absolute trash. But no, I was just lying to you. I made it all up. Really seriously made it all up. No, I was not starting again. And yes, I already did make another one anyway. That was my prototype. (laughs) So yeah, here's the final thing. And I'm very proud of it. Not gonna lie, I am very, very proud of how it went. And yes, after I did film it, I did realise I had to mod podge it, but I was not bothering to refilm another section of this. Seems I'd already filmed the outro. So now I did mod podge it though. I did do it. I'm not lying. So there it is. It's got all the features that Loon kind of mentioned, apart from Trevor, because I'm not doing Trevor and Slurp conjoined, because that's weird. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss when I upload. And do not forget to um, go check out Loon's channel because he's more like the funniest person ever. And link will be down in the description below. And you will absolutely um, love his videos. So don't forget to leave them a like as well. And yeah, if you got this far in the video, then comment um, ice cream. And yes, I made that. That was an aqua bead thing that I just chucked on the floor probably. Anyway, um, thank you all so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So bye.